What's up everyone? We are here in the Jurassic Room and welcome to yet another episode of Dinosaurs of the Week where you the fans get to pick the toys and dinosaurs that are showcased and as you can see I got a ton of requests once again so if you would like to make a request for next week's video make sure you let me know down in the comments below so that I can feature your selection but with all that being said let's go ahead and check out all all of your awesome picks for this week's episode. Okay, so the first request we have today is from Stivarn for the Jurassic World Camp Cretaceous Dino Escape slash and battle Scorpius Rex. And this is such a sweet figure and super unique and has some really cool features like the back button here gets some slashing action and then the front button gets some mouth chomping action with some awesome sound effects as well. And I really love the sculpt on this because this Scorpius Rex is just wild looking, just like it was in Camp Cretaceous. And then when we look at the back of the box, we get another look at our Scorpius Rex. It's Roar and Chomp and it's Tail Strike, which is pretty cool. Actually, I forgot it had a Tail Strike. So I guess you click. I'm actually not sure where you click for the Tail Strike or maybe you just keep it going yourself. I don't know, but looking really, really cool. As all of you can see, this is a really fun figure and a good one to start off this week's episode with. So now this next request here is from William Loreno, and this is for a Jurassic Park 3 Spinosaurus. So I chose this React Attack version right here, which is really awesome. This is a figure that's really special to me from my childhood. It did get a, another repaint as well in the Camo Extreme version, which is extremely rare, but I thought I'd pick the more common one that most people are more used to seeing. So this one has sound effects, but of course they don't work anymore because it's an old toy, but you would click the button here here on its um on its wound to make one sound and then on its neck to get the mouth to open and to make another and then we look at the back of the box we get a look at our spinosaurus battling with a t-rex just like from jurassic park 3 which is pretty awesome now this isn't the craziest sculpt and it's nothing too special but it does have a lot of nostalgic value to me since jurassic park 3 is the only jurassic park movie that i actually got to see in theaters growing up so now this next request here is from Dinosaur's Roll for the Jurassic World Camp Cretaceous Extreme Damage Indominus Rex. And this is a pretty awesome figure. It is unique because it's the exact same sculpt as the Dino Rivals version, but instead of the sound effects, it got this extreme damage feature right here, as all of you can see. And this is the rarest of the Mattel Indominus Rex figures that was released. So that does make this one a little bit more special. And then when we look at the back of the box, we get a look at our Indominus Rex. It's roar and chomp and it's double-sided damage and it's extreme wide mouth opening, which is pretty sweet. So you can kind of just get it going here. Um, actually, there's a button back here which gets the mouth going as well. I forgot this one does have sound effects like the Dino Rivals version, except for I still have the pull tab in mind. So that's why the sounds aren't working, but this is another really awesome toy. Now this next request right here is from Earl Bryce and this is for the Hammond Collection Ceratosaurus from Jurassic Park 3 and this quickly has become one of the rarest Hammond Collection figures out there and for good reason because this is an awesome figure as y'all can see with a really good sculpt, a really good paint job and of course top notch articulation like the Hammond Collection is known for. When we look at the side of the box, look at that really cool look at the Ceratosaurus and then of course on the back we see our Ceratosaurus in all its glory and a picture of it from Jurassic Park 3 which is pretty sweet now this figure became rare because it did not survive on shelves for very long it sold out never came back again and therefore became a pretty rare toy so with that being said it's one that I really really love and I'm super happy to have in my collection 
Now, here we have another request from Jurassic Gamer for Amber Collection Velociraptor Charlie from Jurassic World. And I really love all the different Amber Collection figures. And this may be the coolest one of the Raptor Squad that they did. I really love the sculpt and that vibrant green paint job just looks super sweet. And I like how you get the little camera thing that went around their heads when they went to track the Indominus Rex in the movie. And then when we look at the back of the box, we get a look at our Velociraptor Charlie, not the actual toy of it, but a picture from the movie and a little bit of a description about her, which is pretty awesome. But this is just such an awesome figure. And it's really sad that the Amber collection got discontinued, but I do completely understand why, since there's only a limited amount of figures that they can make in this scale. But this one is a really sweet one that did come from the Amber collection. So now the next request here is from Luca17 Dino and we've got the Hammond Collection Concavenator from Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. And again, this is another awesome figure with a great sculpt and a great paint job and amazing articulation as Hammond Collection is known for. When we look at the side of the box, look at that Concavenator looking really, really cool. And then on the back, we get a look at our Concavenator figure. Now this is one of the only Hammond Collection figures that doesn't show a picture of it actually from the movie because there was never a live action concavenator, only the statue of one inside of Lockwood's mansion in Fallen Kingdom. But it is still a really cool figure and a really interesting species that is super fun for the Hammond collection. I was pretty shocked when they announced this one because I thought they were only doing movie animals from the Hammond collection, but I guess it does kind of count because there was a statue of it in Fallen Kingdom. But with all that being said, this is a really nice toy to have in your collection collection. Now, the next request that we have here is from Karuchi, and this is for the Jurassic World Epic Attack Final Clash Pack, and this is a sweet set and a pretty rare one that never got released here in America. As you can see, mine has Japanese writing all over it because I did have to order this set from Japan to be able to complete my collection, but it is really cool because it comes with a T-Rex and a Velociraptor and has some cool Epic Attack sound effects, which I would show all of you, but as you can see, the pull tabs are still in these fresh like it is from the factory and I don't want to mess that up. Now when we look at the back of the box we get another good look at our T-Rex and our Velociraptor and how to m activate its multiple areas of epic attack damage which is really really sweet. This is a set that took me a while to track into my collection and is a bit hard to find for any of you collectors but it is one that I'm very happy to have my hands on. So now here is another request from Toys with Krishan, and this is for the Amber Collection Pteranodon from Jurassic Park 3, and this is honestly such a sweet toy. The Pteranodons from Jurassic Park 3 were some of the most menacing creatures in the whole franchise for me, so I really, really love this figure. I mean, look at that sculpt and paint job. It is just absolutely gorgeous. This is such a sweet figure and one of the best from the Amber Collection. And then we look at the back of the box, we get a look at that menacing Pteranodon from JP3, which is so super awesome. I love all of the different dinosaur designs from Jurassic Park 3, and it's actually one of my favorite Jurassic movies, which I know is an unpopular opinion, but I just can't get over the designs of all the dinosaurs, and the Pteranodon is right up there. This Amber Collection figure is super sweet and one that I'm so happy is in my collection. So the next request I have here is from Godzilla Fire Burn, and this is the Jurassic World Dominion Lego Giganotosaurus and Therizinosaurus attack set, which is super sweet. This is a huge Lego set, as all of you can see, that comes with all kinds of features and all kinds of figures like the Giganotosaurus, Therizinosaurus, Alan Grant, Ellie Sattler, Owen Grady, Claire Deering, Kayla Watts, and Dr. Henry Wu. This set has got a lot to it. And then when we look on the back of the box, you can see everything this is about. You get to build the whole outhouse or the outpost and get to recreate a bunch of cool scenes from Jurassic World Dominion. This is a huge and really cool Lego set and one that I'm super happy that I was able to pick up and add to my collection. 
Now the next request here is from Ash Edits and they were looking for a green dinosaur in my collection. So I thought we would go vintage Kenner Jurassic Park with this series one stegosaurus here, which is solid green. As you can see, this is an awesome figure with that awesome real feel skin that Kenner is famous for. I just really love any original Kenner toys. When we look at the back of the box, we get a good look at our stegosaurus and it's action scene like Kenner always does in the background to make it look really realistic which I always really love and then we get a good look at how you can pull back to release the whip tail and its removable skin cover to reveal dino damage wound so this is just another very nostalgic and special piece for any Jurassic Park collector and one that I'm sure many have in their collection and I'm very have to, happy to have a couple of them in my collection especially new in box in this sort of condition. Now the next request here is from Mestri Kalango, and this is for an Ultimasaurus. So we've got the Jurassic Park Chaos Effect Roland Tembo that comes with the Ultimasaurus Hatchling because this is the only Ultimasaurus that was ever officially released. Of course, when we look on the back of the box, we see the actual Ultimasaurus that everyone wishes that they could have got their hands on, but unfortunately it never released to the public, which is super sad. There are some prototypes of it out there in the wild that some people own but they fetch crazy prices like 15 20 thousand dollars so i don't have any of that in my collection and they're impossible to find as well but i do have this ultimasaurus hatchling here as i was saying that came with roland tembo so this is a really awesome piece right here that i'm really glad we got to showcase on today's episode now the next request here is from Shadow Raptor for the Jurassic Park Hammond Collection San Diego Comic Con exclusive Outpost Chaos set and this is so sweet. It comes with an exclusive paint version of the Hammond Collection T-Rex and it also comes with the toilet and Gennaro the lawyer and look at these sound effects. This is such a unique set with some absolutely beautiful box art as well. Look at that. It just depicts the whole scene when the T-Rex breaks out of the fences and then comes in and eats Gennaro right off the toilet. So this was another amazing pick for this week's episode. So now we have another request here from the manager for just some more Kenner dinosaurs. So I went ahead and picked this Lost World Jurassic Park Parasaurolophus because this Kenner dinosaur has one of the most accurate sculpts of any dinosaur to the movie because the sculpt of this dinosaur is actually based off of the maquette from Stan Winston Studios, which is super cool. And this Parasaurolophus has got some cool features too. Look at this. You can get those feet running. Well, it's a little stiff on the button. See if I can get it. There we go. And some beautiful sound effects. And then we look at the back of the box, of course, we get to see our Parasaurolophus in an actual nature scene like Kenner always does. Kenner just really knows how to get the fans excited for their toys. And they've got some of the best sculpts in my opinion as well. So this is another awesome Kenner figure that I love having in my collection. Now the next request here is from Goji Fan Adrian for my least favorite figure in my collection. And I think all of you aren't gonna be shocked by this one. It's this little Basher and Biters T-Rex from Jurassic World Hasbro. I mean, this thing is so garbage. Look how horrible this sculpt is. I mean, the plastic even looks like cheap quality. Look at this, it's brand new in the box and the gimmick feature with the mouth doesn't even work anymore. I mean, even when we look at the back of the box, it doesn't make this T-Rex look any better if I'm being completely honest with you. This this is just a horrible figure in my opinion and even has screw holes on the other side of it that you can kind of see right here. So honestly, Hasbro did such a horrible job with the Jurassic World 2015 toys. So it's easy to push them out of your mind and forget them and not collect them. But unfortunately, I do still collect them because I like having every Jurassic toy ever made. But this one is definitely at the bottom of the list and it's a pretty terrible figure. 
Now, the next request here is from Jacob D for the Jurassic World Dominion Thrash and Throw Tyrannosaurus Rex. And this is a huge T-Rex figure, as all of you can see, with some cool features like Chomp, Thrash, and Devour. And we got a button back here to showcase some of the effects. But unfortunately, it looks like the batteries are going dead already, which is very normal with Mattel toys. Their batteries just never last in these electronic figures. And then when we look at the back of the box, oh, now it's making sounds. And then when we look at the back of the box, we get a look at our T-Rex and it's thrash, chomp, and devour features, which are pretty cool. There's nothing too crazy about this T-Rex, but it is pretty nice in size and does have a pretty awesome big chomp, which is pretty cool because you can fit some dinosaurs in that mouth. But there's nothing too crazy about this T-Rex but it's still a pretty worthy and big addition to the Jurassic World Dominion toy line. Now, the next request here is from the Dino Hunters for more Hammond Collection, and we have the Hammond Collection Irritator from Jurassic World, which does look really, really cool. Again, another awesome sculpt paint job and amazing posability. Look at that Irritator on the side. And then looking at the back, we get another pretty good look at our Irritator. And this is another one they added to the Hammond Collection without it being actually in the movies. But again, I'm not really complaining because this is a really cool cool species of dinosaurs in my opinion and then looking back at the figure as we can see it's got a pretty awesome look to it it's even got black paint on its lower jaw which makes it look a little bit menacing now this is a very unique figure and a species that we haven't gotten too many times so it is another one that i think was a pretty good addition to the hammond collection now, this next request right here is from T-Man for the Jurassic World Camp Cretaceous Dino Escape Roar Attack Oranosaurus. And this is an awesome looking herbivore with a beautiful sculpt and a really nice paint job and three levels of sounds. Super, super cool. And then when we look at the back of the box, we get another look at our Aranosaurus. And of course, it's three levels of sounds, which we just looked at. I do really like this figure. I wish they would do more of these types of dinosaurs in this size. I think they're kind of unique and adds a little bit of personality to the different toy lines, other than the constant carnivores that we get. Um, we do get a decent amount of these, but this one is really unique and they never made it again. So it makes it a really fun addition to my collection. Now we got another request here from Jawa Lombard for the Jurassic World Camp Cretaceous Dino Escape Stomp and Escape Tyrannosaurus Rex. And this one is a really cool figure with some awesome sound effects as well. But of course I still have the pull tab in this one. So the sound effects aren't gonna work. But as you can see, you can get that leg stomping, which is pretty cool. And then the mouth actually gets opening as well, which is really, really awesome. And then something else I love about this figure is that it actually comes with capture gear which reminds me of the old kenner toys and all of you know how big of a fan i am of the kenner jurassic park toys and then when we look at the back we get another look at our t-rex and it's stopping action roar and chomp and how it can break out of its capture gear so this is another really big t-rex figure that was added to these mattel toy lines and another really awesome one to have in the collection now, the next request we have here is from Dark Suns and Tristan B Plays for the level 40 hybrid Indominus Rex. And unfortunately, I don't have one new in box in my collection at the moment, something I'm still trying to track down, but I do have a loose one here. And this is one of the only decent figures that Hasbro gave us from the Jurassic World toy line. Other than the screw holes on the other side, which are really annoying, this Indominus Rex looks really, really awesome. And you can like pump its arm and it's supposed to get its jaw going, but the mechanics on these things are almost always broken, but it would get him chomping and get his teeth coming out here, which are pretty cool. And then it has a button here, which exposes some more spikes, which looks pretty awesome. Now I do play Jurassic World, the game, and this is what the level 40 Indominus Rex looks like. So it does make this toy a little bit more special for me. 
Now, the next request we have here is from Jurassic Cashman for the Hammond Collection Carnotaurus from Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. And if any of you know me, you know this is my favorite Hammond Collection figure that has been released to date. I mean, it's just got such an amazing sculpt and a great paint job. And of course, like I always say, the articulation is on point for the Hammond Collection. And then look at that Carnotaurus here on the side, looking really, really cool. And then when we look at the back, we get another good look at our Carnotaurus in some of its different poses and its actual glass eyes. Again, in my opinion, this is the best Hammond Collection figure that has been released. It's just got such an amazing sculpt and the articulation with it makes it still look really realistic. So it doesn't get much better than this figure right here. Now, the next request we have here is from SOSGN, and this is the Jurassic World Camp Cretaceous Savage Strike Velociraptor Echo, and I actually have the Japanese variant right here, which is pretty cool. This is one of the nicer sculpts of the Velociraptors, in my opinion, from Mattel. This is actually the Jumping Raptor sculpt, which is cool, and I like this paint job for Echo. It's kind of down to earth and a bit more realistic, so it does make this figure look pretty nice. And then when we look at the back of the box, we get a Good look at Echo and how you can put those feet back to make it leap forward, which is super, super sweet. This is a nice little figure. I wouldn't say there's anything too crazy about it, but it is a pretty good rendition of Velociraptor Echo and a pretty good sculpt, so it makes it a nice figure to have here in my collection. Now we've got another request here from Erwin Goji for the Hammond Collection Tyrannosaurus Rex from Jurassic Park. And of course, guys, this is just such an iconic figure and just an iconic piece to have. I mean, it is probably the best T-Rex toy we've ever gotten in a lot of people's opinions still to date. It is just so awesome with a beautiful sculpt, paint job, and articulation. And then when we look at the back, we get a good look at our Tyrannosaurus Rex. I mean, this is on Honestly, maybe the best T-Rex ever made. Like I was just saying, it's just got so many good features to it. And it is definitely the most realistic one that we've ever gotten. And of course, Hammond Collection is top notch. So I guess that's not too shocking. But this T-Rex is just super awesome and one that I'm sure almost all of us have in our collections. Now, this next request here is from Diaz Pro. And for any of you that are big fans of my channel, you know all about this Jawless T-Rex or Mouthless Mo, as all of you had named it in my past live streams. But this is really just a Jurassic World Dominion T-Rex that was missing its bottom jaw that I bought from the store. Um, I wasn't actually gonna buy it, but the reason I bought it was because of the uproar of all of you fans wanting to add it to my collection. But it does look really funny when it opens its mouth without the bottom jaw. I mean, that's honestly kind of nightmare fuel. This thing looks crazy, but it is a fun thing for me to have and a great meme to always have on my channel for all of you to have fun with. Now, the next request we have right here is from Angel for the Hammond Collection Dilophosaurus from Jurassic Park. And this is one of the more rare Hammond Collection figures in my collection. This is such a super cool figure. It's got, again, a nice sculpt like all of the Hammond Collection does and a really nice paint job. That frill is just looking absolutely gorgeous. And look at that look of it on the side of the box. That is just so super cool. And then when we look at the back of the box again, we get another good look at our Dilophosaurus. And this is just such a unique and iconic dinosaur to me. So it's one that I really, really like having in as many different toy forms as possible. But again, looking at the actual figure, this is one that is super fun to have in the collection. And it's one that if you haven't added to your collection yet, it's probably gonna cost you a pretty penny to get one. So I'm really happy that I was able to grab it when it was available at retail price in stores. So the next request right here is from Ezekiel Clark for the San Diego Comic-Con 
Hammond Collection Steven Spielberg set, which I have right here, but unfortunately mine is brand new in the package and not opened. So I did go ahead and grab my loose Steven Spielberg here and his little camera, which is pretty cool. As you can see, look at that. There's his little um, filming chair, which is really, really cool. And then of course it came with a Dilophosaurus that's just like the one that we looked at from the Hammond Collection. But this is such a fun and unique set. And even look at that shirt, guys. That is the exact shirt that Steven Steven Spielberg was wearing when he was filming on the set of the original Jurassic Park. So it's such a nice little touch here and it makes this such a fun set to have in my collection. So the next request here is from Mr. Raptor Sub for the Jurassic Park 30th anniversary Hammond collection, Dr. John Hammond, as we can see here. And this is a pretty cool little toy. I mean, it literally is John Hammond from the Hammond collection. So that's gotta make it special, right? So as you can see, it comes with a couple of cool accessories, which is pretty fun. It's even got the little ice cream scoop and tub, which is cool, and his cane. And then when we look at the back of the box, we get another pretty good look at our Dr. John Hammond, who created Jurassic Park. None of this would have been possible without Mr. Hammond. So that does make this very unique. And of course, a very important figure to have here in the Hammond collection. And like Mr. Raptor said, everyone like the video and show me a little extra support. Now the next request here is from David Burnett for one of the rarest Jurassic World toys of all time, the Jurassic World Battle Damage Spinosaurus. And this has got such an awesome sculpt and cool features like that extreme chomping mouth and look at this battle damage. You can take down its skin, then its ribs, then expose its blood that can gush around, which is really, really sweet. And then when we look at the back of the box, we get a look at our Spinosaurus and how you can activate its double damage and its chomping action, which is super, super sweet. This is one of my favorite toys in my collection, not just due to the rarity, but just because I love this sculpt from Mattel and I really like this blue color. So it makes this Spinosaurus really stand out for me in my collection. Now, the next request we have here is from Glizzy Man for the Jurassic World Dominion Roar Strikers Mega Raptor. And this is a pretty unique species. I like this red coloration here and I do like the sculpt on it. I think it looks pretty awesome. Then when you push down on the figure, you get some sound effects and some chomping action which really sounds like the Indoraptor, but that's okay. It's still a cool figure. And then when we look at the back of the box, we get a look at our Mega Raptor and how you can press down to hear its roar, which we just did. This is a unique sculpt and the only time Mattel ever did this species. So that does make this a little bit more extra special, but I do like the coloration more than anything. And I think this is a fun toy for me to have here in the collection. Now, the next request I have right here is from Camila for the Hammond Collection Therizinosaurus from Jurassic World Dominion. And again, this is another really awesome addition to the Hammond Collection. And it is one of the only ones that we've gotten in that medium size range like the Carnotaurus. So that does make it pretty unique. And then when we look at the back of the box, look at that cool look that we get at our Hammond Collection Therizinosaurus. And of course, it's got those glass eyes like they've been introducing on all the new figures, which does give it a little bit more of a realism effect, which is pretty awesome. But other than that, this of course has an awesome sculpt and articulation and some pretty cool colors. I really like that lightish blue color that's going around the head and the red that goes down the back. I think it makes this Therizinosaurus look pretty striking and look pretty awesome. Now we've got some more Hammond Collection requested from Andy Carmona. And this is the Hammond Collection Baryonyx from Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. And this is another really awesome addition to the Hammond Collection. Again, I know I say this a lot, but this is one of my favorite sculpts as well from the Hammond Collection. And the Baryonyx is just a really cool and interesting carnivore to me. So I think having this one in the collection makes it really, really fun. But look at that Baryonyx looking really, really nice there. And then of course here we can see it's got got a nice sculpt. I really like the elongated snout. It makes the Baryonyx a really unique creature. And of course, it's got great articulation and a pretty good paint job. Like is pretty standard with most of the Hammond collection. So any of you that don't own this one, I would highly recommend adding it to your Jurassic collection. 
So now the next suggestion here is from Skullcrawlers for the Jurassic World Dominion Owen Escape Pack. And this is a pretty fun little toy set that comes with a lot of different stuff. We get this juvenile Carnotaurus, which is really unique because we never got a Carnotaurus figure in that size. And then of course we get two Atrociraptors and then we get Owen on his little motorcycle with his knife and his helmet, which is pretty awesome. And then we look at the back of the box. Of course we get a better look at Owen, his motorcycle, his utility tool, the two Atrociraptors, and of course the Carnotaurus. I do think that this Carnotaurus is very unique. Again, like I was saying, it doesn't say it's a juvenile Carnotaurus, but it's much smaller than a Carnotaurus would be with being with the scale of the rest of these figures. And it also is just a lot smaller than the other Carnotauruses that they have released. So it does make that figure unique and it does make this set overall a pretty unique one. So we have another request here from Jurassic Universe, and this is for the original Jurassic Park Series 1 Electronic Tyrannosaurus Rex, or the Red Rex as most of us fans know it as. And this is just an absolute classic and one that I am always happy to showcase. This Red Rex has got that real feel awesome skin and has really cool electronic stomping and roar sounds, which is pretty sweet. And then when we look at the back of the box, on this Red Rex. Look at that beautiful scene that is created and look how big that Red Rex is compared to the other figures. This is such an awesome and classic toy and one that any big Jurassic Park collector definitely has in their collection. Now getting one mint in box like this can be a little bit more difficult and can fetch a pretty high price but I think it is definitely worth it for any hardcore Jurassic collectors. Now the next request here is from K-Ed for this Jurassic World Velociraptor Stem Kit or Fossil Strikers as they call it. And this honestly is a pretty cool little set. As you can see, you just kind of assemble all the bones together and then it has its little stand and its little other things here that come with it. And I'm pretty sure that these are in scale with the Mattel toys. So I think that this Velociraptor right here is the size of all like the Attack Pack and the Savage Strike Velociraptors and stuff, which is pretty cool. These stem kits didn't show up for that long they made a couple of them as you can see we got like a stingy mollick and a triceratops here and there was a bigger t-rex one as well but this one is probably my favorite just because i really love the velociraptor and it's just pretty cool to see its skeletal structure i mean look at that looking pretty awesome so this is a pretty cool toy and a unique pick for this week's episode now we've got another request here from Mega World, and this is for the Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom Roarvor's Metriacanthosaurus. And this is the first Metriacanthosaurus figure that we did get from Mattel, which makes it pretty cool. It's got that same interesting head sculpt and interesting jaw, but I do kind of like this yellowish brownish paint job. Let's see if those sounds still work. Yep, I knew those weren't gonna work because those Mattel batteries do not last very long. And this is one of the original Mattel toys, so I highly assumed that those batteries would be dead. But now looking at the back of the box, we get another good look at our Metriacanthosaurus and how you can push its button for sounds and chomping action, which is pretty cool. Again, pretty, oh wait, we got a little bit of sound there. Yeah, not getting much from it, but at least we get to see the pretty cool chomping action from the jaw. There's nothing too crazy about this figure, but it is still a really nice piece to have in the collection. So now the next request here is from Not The Pug, and this is for the Amber Collection Dimorphodons from Jurassic World. And these are pretty cool. They're kind of similar with the Pteranodons, but they're a lot smaller in scale. Well, they're the same scale, but smaller figures, and that's why you actually get two in here, which is pretty cool. Look at those Dimorphodons, looking pretty nice. Let me look at the back of the box. We get a better look at our Dimorphodon actually from Jurassic World, which is pretty cool. And again, these are not my favorites from the amber collection but i still think they are really cool i mean look at that nice paint job on the wings that's pretty cool and then the sculpting of course is pretty nice as well nothing too crazy about these figures but another unique addition that we had to the amber collection before they canned it and changed over to the hamming collection so really anything that came with the amber collection is pretty special to me because i feel like this is such a unique toy line and one that didn't last very long so i'm pretty happy to have these dimorphodons 
So the next request we have here is from Bean Ballers, and this is for an out-of-box Jurassic World Legacy Collection Dreadnoughtus, and this is one of the biggest Mattel toys that they've ever made. This sauropod is absolutely massive, as you can see. Takes up essentially my entire review table. And again, this is the biggest of all the sauropods that they have released, and definitely one of my favorites just for that reason. I mean, look how gorgeous this is. Look at that pretty paint and just how massive this is. That is the biggest thing. This thing is so big that it leaves just a gigantic presence in in your collection and this is just such a sweet toy to have and now we have another request here from Dino Benjamin for another giant sauropod. We've got the Jurassic World Legacy Collection Diplodocus. And while this one isn't quite as thick and as tall as the Dreadnoughtus was that we just looked at, this one is probably a little bit longer. And it's got probably more details in my opinion. As you can see, the paint job looks really nice. Got these really cool spines going down the back of the neck, which is also awesome. And it's just got some really distinct coloration and this is the brand new sauropod that was just released so i think it looks really really nice compared up to all of the other sauropods and again it may not be as big as the dreadnoughtus but it does still have a huge presence in your collection and is still a gorgeous toy to own and now here we have the final request of the video from Artsy Arts, and this is for the biggest dinosaur in my entire collection, the Queen Studios one-third scale Tyrannosaurus Rex bust. I mean, what do I even have to say about this thing? It is absolutely massive. I can fit my head inside of the mouth of this T-Rex, and the details are just top-notch. As you can see, even looking into the eyes, it looks like Rexy is staring at you you can see every wrinkle of the skin even inside of the mouth you can see the glossy detail and you can even see the saliva dripping off the teeth this is probably my most prized possession in my entire collection and it's just something that I'm super super proud to own and it's honestly probably the craziest thing that I've ever purchased collecting wise so this is the perfect piece to finish off today's dinosaurs of the week episode with Thank you everyone for tuning in to another episode of Dinosaurs of the Week. If you would like to make a selection for next week's episode, then make sure you let me know down in the comments below. Want to see more awesome Jurassic content? Then hit that subscribe button and turn on post notifications so that you don't miss any of my content. Also, check me out on Instagram and join my Discord server for so much more Jurassic fun. The links to everything will be in the description below. Check out more awesome Jurassic videos here.